So today's goal, to understand the complex regulator with the type annotation and the prevent and the detect the bugs area and uh, best practice for the typing decorator. About me, I work at the talk table the, as a software engineer in Tokyo, Japan. And also, um, I contribute the OSS stuff. Uh, for example, the PyCharm plugin for the PyDantic and the RA. And uh, I creating the code generator for the PyDantic and the other data model the, from the JSON schema, um, OpenAPI, the pre-check the, my the GitHub page. Okay, the first, the, how I came up the, with the, this talk. So motivation, the type hinting is very valuable, but it's uh, challenging the, with the decorator. Uh, key question. How to define the callable type though without the ellipsis, uh, dot, 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 and the, how to manage the function the, with flexible uh, argument. The, sometimes the decorator change the uh, argument meaning. Uh, and the way to find the best practice. Yeah, I feel it difficult to check the best practices for the uh, decorator and the callback. And the, today, um, I will the address the, this issue and the enhance the decorator with the type annotation. So before jumping the, the contents, the, I will the explain about the structure of the section. So the first, I introduce the feature, uh, like a pip, and the show the example code. Uh, and the identify the problem in the current code. And the apply the feature to fix the code and the recap. And the, I have already the uploaded the slide as a PDF and they also push the uh, Python code in the GitHub repo. The pre-check the, this the, uh, QR code, the RIP page, the I will uh, show you again the same URL uh, QR code the the end of the this session. So, and the I explain the this concept um, of by the creating the logger decorator for the HTTP client. And uh, this is agenda the features. So, uh, let's start the basic decorator. So decorator is a very cool feature, uh, cool syntax in the Python the for higher order function. Uh, processing that can be added the before or other uh, function call. The, this is the uh, yeah, pep yeah, for the decorator. Yeah, this diagram uh, explains how to work the decorator. The, this is the decorator the, uh, internal thing. So the first, uh, we can put some uh, logic to before call the uh, wrap the function. The, for example, the print the before running func. The after that, the call the wrap the function, and after that, uh, we can call the another logic again. Yeah, let's uh, create the logger decorator for HTTP client. The I feel that this use case is uh, very useful. There sometimes that we can. Uh, we want to the uh, log the some the uh, HTTP call and the additional the uh, information. Uh, the requirement uh, log the before and the after the execution the of the function and the decorator should be designed for the HTTP client function and use a custom remote logger class for the logging. So this is the, yeah, I implement the, this uh, logic. Uh, yeah, please look the logger.send log, uh, send the log message to the external server that imagine uh, some of the SARS that provide some the SDK and the, this SDK that provide the uh, send log the method uh, it's too easy to send a message to the external server. 
and call the function. The, uh, yeah, maybe the call the get or patch or the post. After that, send log again. Okay, the, this is a very simple the HTTP call function that import the, uh, sorry, import the request and the uh, define the call URL, the argument uh, as uh, the URL, as strings, and the call the request get, and the return the response. The call URL, the HTTP, yeah. And the, here it's the example, remote logger class. The, this is the dummy class, but uh, it's very simple. Uh, constructor get the name and the log group and the log level. The, and has the send log the method. The, this method expect the structure that logs the, by the args and the keyword args. So next, the how to use this class, the instantiate, the log name test, and the log group admin, and the log level zero, and the call the send log, the message call hello, and the user ID one. And I expect the send the such a JSON uh, object to the server. Yeah, uh, let's uh, apply the, this the R remote logger uh, in the decorator. The first instance ate the remote logger as the logger. And the call the send log and the run the function. And after that, the send log, the, yeah, this time the send the result the to the server, mm. and the, the this decorator name is the add logging, and the apply the previous the example call URL, and this the decorator with the function the run like that this the uh, send the log, and the call HTTP. After that, send the result to the external server. I introduced the uh, Arcu feature. It's not the newest one, but uh, it's very uh, cool. So we can enforce the keyword argument the after the asterisk. The I pick up the example from pet. So this uh, function has the three the argument, A, B, and the key. The, this is good case. The first is the one, second is two, and the third, the, the key, lambda as the keyword argument. But the, this pattern that raises the exception, the because the, this example the, has the asterisk the after the B. But the, this uh, last code, um, lambda doesn't have the any the keyword argument, so we should use the lambda as the keyword argument. Okay, well let's apply the, this the logic, the this example. What is the uh, problem with the, this decorator? So, this decorator has the two uh, argument signature, the group and the log level. But uh, if we use the decorator, the, um, we can't remember the, all the argument. So, yeah, imagine the in the production, the the decorator mm, may has the a lot of the argument, uh, ten or uh, fifteen or uh, twelve. Yeah, we can't there um, remember all things. And. Uh, if we put the, this asterisk after the group, the, but the, this case the uh, call the without the keyword argument, the for zero. The, if, if we run the, this code, uh, raise error. It's a very uh, simple program. Yeah. And the, we should use the uh, level, 
as a keyword, it succeed. Yeah, recap. Uh, we can enforce the keyword argument the, with asterisk. The, this feature they uh, used in the decorator and the other the traditional function, it's a very variable The we should use it. Uh, next, the typing protocol. Uh, Python the, has the duck typing, but uh, this the typing, the defined uh, interface uh, as class. Yeah, please uh, look at this example. The for example, uh, response like the class uh, has the status, the attribute, and the JSON method, the inherited the protocol. So it means uh, this object has the JSON method and the status code. It's very simple. Also, the, we can define the function uh, by using the protocol. Uh, we can define the, then the call the with the argument, URL timeout with the type, and the return type. Yeah, it's the same. So what's the difference, the callable versus the protocol? So pre-check the callable. The callable, the, we need the type areas to define the type, and the uh, callable and the SDR, the fraud, but the, we can't the, define uh, keyword name. But the protocol, we can use the clear the name, like a URL, a timeout. It's a very uh, variable. Uh, also, um, we can use the, some library for uh, traditional, for the common module. So in this case, the, someone want to use the request as the HTTP client, but other people uh, want to use the HTTPX. It's a very the modern one. So pre-check the import statement. The both library uh, has the response. Uh, the response object has the same attribute, status code, but it's not the same type. Uh, in this case, we can use the uh, protocol, the response-like object. This class has the status code, and the we can apply the um, like response-like as a return type the for the request and the HTTPX. Uh, it's good the for the typing. And the, in the decorator, uh, we can put the response-like object as a return value. Recap. The, uh, work with the multiple library the for the request and the HTTPX, the type set, and ensure the response object have a status code. Next, param spec. Uh, we can the flexible signature handling. Uh, capture the signature of the function to write the decorator that are more flexible. Ensure that the function with, uh, used with the decorator maintain the, 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 the original type annotation. Yeah, please check the, this example I pick up the, from the uh, pip. The, I focus the, the important part. Uh, import the param spec and define p uh, by using the param spec the with p. And the, we can use the, this p in this the decorator. p.args, it means the positional argument. p.keyword argument, uh, it means the keyword argument. Yeah, please check. The usually the we use the callable, but the, mm, we can't understand the ellipsis, it's no meaning. And the, in the wrapper side, uh, type is any and any. But we can use the uh, param spec in this place. It's very cool. Uh, we can uh, define the clearly. 
uh, recap that we can define the clear type that with the param spec that for the uh, function argument. Uh, next, concatenate. That this is the very useful when we the uh, use the adjust some of the function signature. So adding the or removing the specific argument while keeping the reset of the signature intact. So please look the example the from the pep. So this function there uh, get the uh, callable that's the first argument. The please look the callable first argument concatenate the request and the p. And in the decorator, uh, create the new request object and the add the this the as the first argument. And the in the definition side, the we define the first argument request as the request. But yeah, this is the corrupt site. So the first argument is one, not request, and the add the a. So it means the uh, decorator the add the request new object in here, and the user doesn't pass the, the request object as the first argument. Yeah, this diagram shows uh, how to work. The, this part that inject the object as the first argument to create the request object and the get the request in the function. But the user doesn't pass the uh, request object. So in our use case, the sometime the we need to the send the custom message, custom log to the external server. So for example, the we need logger class to send the log in here. The this the decorator the pass logger class as the first argument and the callable site that only use the uh, argument is the URL. So it means same, but the, this type is correct. Uh, please check the uh, over typing. It's too, too long, so the, yeah, I will the, uh, sort the after the, uh, this topics. So pick up the important point, the callable, the concatenate, the first argument, the remote logger class the with P. And the, this decorator put the logger in here and the, this function can get the uh, logger class in here. Recap, the concatenate the uh, flexible signature manipulation enables the adding the extra parameter to function while the preserving the original signature. It's very cool that if we want to use, uh, change the, some of the argument, the, it's a variable, yeah. Next, it's a new syntax that from the Python 3.12. So please check the example. The first one, the previous uh, Python, we have to the import the type area to define the new our type. But the, from the 3.12, uh, it's the provide the new reserved keyword type. The, we don't need import any new things. We can use the type to define the new type URL equal SDR. Also, uh, in the generics, so we need the T, but uh, we don't need to import the type bar to define the T. The new syntax that provide the new yeah, feature yeah, we can define the t the, uh, after the function name. It's very cool. Oh, let's apply the, this uh, typing the, to the our decorator. So type the log func, it means the log function, the uh, callable type, 
the yeah, pre-check there, this the double star, asterisk, asterisk P, is mean the param spec. The P is a param spec, the also the R is a return type R. Usually use the R, the return type. And the, yeah, same, the callable concatenate, the remote loader, and P and R. And the, after the function name, uh, we can use the uh, yeah, same, double star P as a param spec. Yeah, let's do jump. Uh, provide the standards the way to the degree of type parameter in the class and the function. Yeah, in this session, the I show you the only the function, but uh, we can use the same way the in the class, the pre-check the um, pet. Okay, uh, we can understand all good things, and the we can apply the all, all things the, to the our decorator. It's too small, sorry. So I pick up the important uh, lines, the defined response like the uh, with the protocol that has the status code in, and the defined the new uh, callable type the log func, the with the new syntax, and the using the param spec with the double star p, the after the type uh, function name, and the put the asterisk. The, to enforce the uh, keyword argument the, for the level. And we can use the p.args and p.keywordargs. They also the uh, function get the logger class, that's the first argument. And put the logger as the first argument in the finish site. And we can uh, call the uh, send log method in this the function. And the we can the return the response the of the HTTP request, HTTPX. Uh, this is finished, but uh, I want to the introduce the additional one. Uh, type bar tuple, the we can define the uh, tuple uh, typing. I pick up the example from Pep. So this is a new one. Type about tuple. Uh, usually we use the TS. TS uh, used by with the asterisk. It means unpack the tuple. So this the argument, the TUP, is the tuple first P and the other uh, tuple content. But the return type, the uh, changed order, asterisk the TS and the T. So it means the uh, pick up the first tuple contents to the end. So this example, the code the with the one, two, three, but the uh, result is the uh, two, three, one. So it's a very the variable uh, for the type checker and uh, for the ID. Yeah, recap the type bar, uh, type bar, the tuple. It's good that to define the uh, tuple the function. Yeah, thank you very much. It's all. And the, I have the already uploaded all this example code and the, this slide the in the GitHub uh, repo. Uh, thank you very much.